In this video, we're going to look at rounding numbers to the nearest 100. So here's a typical question, round 723 to the nearest 100. So if this was 700 and this was 800, then in the middle would be 750. This would be 710, 720, 730, 740, 750, 760, 770, 780, 790 and 800. So this would be 720, so 723 would be somewhere here, okay, so 723. As you can see, it's closer to 700 than it is to 800. So if you're asked to round 723 to the nearest 100, well then that would be 700. So the answer would be 700, okay. So in other words, if it is uh, below 750, or if it's below the 50, it's going to round down. If it's 50 or above, it's going to round up. Let's have a look at another one. So, round 453 to the nearest 100. So here's 400, here's 500. We've got 450 in the middle, and then so 453 would be here somewhere, around about this region here, okay? So it's gonna be closer to 500. So the rule is, if the tens, remember you've got hundreds, tens, and units. If the tens is zero, one, two, three, four, you're gonna round down, so round down. If it's five, six, seven, eight, or nine, if the tens is a, if the number in the tens column is a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you're going to round up to the nearest hundred. Okay, so let's have a look at another one. So we've got eight hundred and fifty. Uh, so we've got here eight hundred, here nine hundred. This time eight hundred and fifty is exactly in the middle. Okay, so exactly in the middle. Um, if it's in the middle, the common practice is to round it up. So it's going to round up to nine hundred. Okay, and as I said previously, if the number in the middle is a five, you round up because it's hit hundred and or if if the number in the tens column, the number in the tens column is a five, you round up. So here we've got eight hundred and fifty. The number in the tens column is a five, so you round up to nine hundred. Let's have a look at some questions. So one hundred and eighty-seven. So the number in the tens column is an eight, so we're going to round up. So it's going to round up to two hundred. Okay, 746, the number in the tens column is a four, so we're gonna round down, so 700. 1,537, we've got thousands, hundreds, tens in units, so in the tens column we've got a three, so we're going to round down, so 1,500 to the nearest hundred. If we were to round 2,680 to the nearest hundred, we look in the tens column, we've got an eight, so we're gonna round up, so it's going to be 2,700. This time we've got 82, so the number in the tens column is an 8, so we're going to round up, so it'd be 100. And finally, 8,150, because in the tens column we've got a 5, we're going to round up, so it's going to be 8,200. So this time we've been asked to round 449.8 to the nearest 100. So we would have 400 is 100 below, and 500 is 100 above. And we would have 450 in the middle, and this would be 410, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500. Okay, so 449.8 would be just to the left of the middle here, 449.8. So that means that it's closer to 400 than it is to 500. So rounding it would be, or the answer would be 400. Now again, we just look at the tens column. If you want to round to the nearest 100, you look in the tens column. 10 is a, the number, the, the digit in the tens column is a 4, so we round down, so we would round down to 400. So let's have a look at some examples. 127.9 in the tens column is a 2, so we round down, so 100. 786.126 in the tens column is an 8, so we round up, so we get 800. 549.9. In the tens columns of four, so we round down 500. And finally, 2359.01 in the tens columns of five, so we round up, so it'd be 2400.